On this Aloha Friday, we're talking with Kumuhula Mehanaokala Hind, and we're talking about La Hui Kanaka. Sister, good afternoon. Happy Friday to you. Yes. Uh, aloha. Aloha. Happy Aloha Friday to everybody. Okay, so tell me, and for those that do not know, you know, maybe continental United States or even here in our Hawaii, what is La Hui Kanaka and why is it important in this day and time? So La Hui Kanaka is our proactive, and when I say our, a group of kumuhula gathered at the beginning of August to discuss how it is that we can um, look on the strengths of our culture um, and our history to help us during this time of, of this pandemic, right? And so we got together, and this is our proactive like response, our, our way of, of helping not only ourselves, our ohana and our halau hula, but also anyone actually who wants to um, learn more about it and, and join in on the effort. Um, it is our way of articulating of those things that have brought us to this point in our history as Native Hawaiians, right? We're the survivors of, of Hawaii who have survived epidemics throughout the 1800s, early 1900s. So um, one of the things we came up with was the idea of Lahui Kanaka, right? And Lahui, another, another definition for that word is like a law or um, a law that is, is placed on, in this case, people, right? For our ability to to continue on right so alahui is is like that like a couple yeah kanaka because it's on us and our behaviors and our um the things that we're doing now all for or and towards mauliola right and mauliola is our term for well-being and health right. right so that's the basic concept of that right and we picked um the Maoli moon cycles, Maoli to Maoli. Maoli is one of the phases of our, of our moon cycle um, here because of the word Maoli and that word for life and health. Um, and between that, that time period, right, we pick um, now two anahulu or two 10 day time periods in which we dedicate um, ourselves um, to a couple of things. The five things basically that we all do, right? Wash our hands, wear our masks, social distance, and, and save the gathering, you know, for later. Mm -hmm. um, and then also um, save the gatherings for later. That's the, that's the fourth one. And then the fifth one is that every day at noon, we commit to stopping whatever we're doing, and we do pule. So whatever... Whatever background you come from, whatever higher being that you, you pull it to, um, we all stop at 12 noon at that, that very kind of sacred traditional time when ko kala ikalolo, right, when the sun is right above us, right. um, that we take time to pull it. Um, so that's what everybody's, um, all of us have agreed to. And then the halals and other families have added on to that. They've added on different dietary things that during that time period, they eat more um, kalo, more ulu, more, uh, have more olena in their, in their diet, for instance, all those things that help us keep us connected to aina and healthy. Um, others have told their haumana and their families that they have to increase their water intake, right, and, and um, drinking more water. Others have done stuff simple as some halal have said, okay, from our repertoire every day, you do three hula. Yeah, no matter what it is, you put on your playlist, right, and you do three hula a day, right, to get your body active and moving while we're in isolation. Um, so that's some of the tenets, but it's all kind of geared by, um, by taking and looking at the strengths of our culture, our foods, our practices, our behaviors, right, and, and doing it together. Even though we're in isolation, know that when you, um, you know, commit to Lahui Kanaka, that you are amongst hundreds of other people who are also doing the same thing at the same time as you. Now, as I understand it, this is for halau and haumana, and so they are ma'a to this because this is kind of along the practices to being with halau. But if there are those that are maybe hearing about this for the first time, is there some place where they can go to kind of, you know, to kind of make their way in and get that little introduction to start a beginning of this? Yeah, we have, a, we have great PSAs um, that were done that are like short 
um, and one that one of our Kumuhula Puel Potter did that kind of helps introduce the concept, right, and, and more information. So we have a website, um, the mahalo to the the, the the staff and, and the leadership at the Office of Wine Affairs. Um, they've embraced the concept. And so we have a webpage that sits off of their webpage at oha.org slash lahui kanaka. And you can find more information there, a series of workshops there also that the Kumuhula did to help introduce the lehu lehu or the, the public also into this. You don't have to be a hula person to to washing your hands, right, uh, wearing your mask, social distance, that's what everybody is doing, but also to commit to doing pule, right? You don't have to be a hula person to do that. You don't have to be a hula person to understand that um, instituting mauliola into your life, yeah, just even the vocabulary, right, um, is, is, is good for you and for your ohana, right? The kumuhula are just the, the more, um, I would say, the more extroverted culture keepers, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> they, they put themselves out there. So we'll be sharing, in fact, in the next month, over the next month, we'll be sharing a whole bunch of workshops that are meant to be for the lehu lehu or for the general public to also consume and and know that this is a this is a something that we can prepare our bodies our minds and our spirits to face the challenge of covid all while learning more about our culture our own culture by becoming if you already are a culture practitioner becoming stronger in your cultural practice mm-hmm. yeah and then sharing the best of our cultural practices with those out there who may not belong to a cultural practice, you know, like how you were saying. Uh, just a word here, and just, you know, in our Hawaii today, we're going through the coronavirus pandemic. And even though we here in Hawaii are kind of flattening the curve, the numbers are starting to come down. Just a reminder, this is not an immediate thing. This is a marathon. We're going for the long haul here. So there's no time like the present to get involved culturally. And just even if you're outside of Hawaii, uh, whether you used to live here, you have connections or not to Hawaii, Uh, It's a great way to take these things that you can learn and institute them wherever you are across the planet. Mehana okala hain, once again, kumuhula. Mehana, thank you so much. And uh, much, much uh, maalama to your haumana and to everybody that's participating. Mahalo, Billy B, for everything that you do. And aloha to everybody out there. No be scared. Come join us. Oha.org slash Lahui Kanaka. Find out more information.